All right, so here here's the Canadian trick. This is the famous problem from uh, University of Toronto, 2004. They have like kind of like their own undergraduate math competition, and this was one of the problems. And this is a, a I wouldn't I guess that's not too famous, but it's it, it's quite famous for me. Taught me a lot about formatting and then canceling out, and then you just left with the coefficient. But this this is this was a promising problem that I forever remembered. So what is this Canadian trick? So if for those you know, if, if you wanted to try a, a problem like that from IIT Madras, here it is. Okay, if you want to try it out on your own, you know, a problem like IIT Madras that we just solved, uh, go ahead and try this out on your own. If you want to apply the same trick that I did, right? So. Uh, I think this one is a little bit more difficult because there's no hints here. There's no suspicions here, right? It just it just looks like this, and it's like, bruh, where do I even do? <laughs> so, um, and I don't blame you, but this is the famous Canadian trick problem uh, from University of Toronto. So, what the hell do we do here? And the, the key thing is you reformat it in a way where they both became the same integral formatted, but the coefficients are different, okay? So now, I don't remember the solution to this. I just know what the problem was because um, I forgot it's been way too long. <laughs> um, but I figured that, I don't know, maybe because this, this is what bothers me. Here, right I was thinking about turning this into like square root of sine theta and maybe turn this to square root of tangent theta maybe that's like a good route to go right so let's call this uh, let me call it this yellow so first of all I have from 0 to 1 uh, let's first uh, rewrite this for a comfort and we're gonna go ahead and say wait we want x4 equal to sine square theta then what you're doing is you're you're asking for uh, oh I can't oh, you are asking for x to equal to square root of sine theta then dx is equal to 2 square root of sine theta cosine theta d theta okay so now what we have here 0 pi over 2. So now what we have here is, let's see, we, we purposely made this in a way where it's cosine theta now. So now I'm left with two th d, th oh, sorry, d theta to the square root of sine theta. Okay? What now? What, what do we do? Right? What, oh, well, I'm just, like, what, what do I do here? There's nothing for me to do. So I'm going to leave it like this just for now until I see a clear picture of what I need to do for this integral okay so now for this integral we have from 0 to 1 dx 1 plus x to the power of 4 we have x to the power of 4 equal to we want this to be tangent square theta okay x is equal to the square root of tan theta then dx is equal to square root tangent theta secant square theta d theta and what we have is from 0 to wait if I plug in 1 here that should also be pi over 4 Okay, I was like, wait, is it square root of pi over 2? I was kind of, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, but, okay, so this is, so we have pi over 4. It's okay, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll see where this goes. We'll see where this goes. We have secant theta now, uh, because we had, we forced this bottom to be secant theta, right? That's literally what we did. This was our intention. So, this is secant theta, so it canceled out one of our secant thetas. So we're left with secant theta, and then 2 square root tangent theta. 
Now, I need to reformat this in a way where it looks like that, right? I have, this is literally 1 over cosine times 2 square root of, this is cotangent, so this is like this. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Interesting! That looks suspicious! Right? What is this? We could turn this into sine 2 theta. <gasps> is that why this is pi over 4? Ha! Huh. Suspicious, right? So now, you see how like, again, at first I didn't know where this was going, right? But, you know, you, you try something and then you notice, oh, there's something suspicious here. And that's where you go ahead and let that, you let this, uh, you flow wherever it takes you. So, all right, so now this is one half from zero to pi over two. I'm sorry, pi over four. And then this is uh, d theta. And this is now a half of sine two theta, right? And now this is equal to what? So you let what? U equal 2 theta. And this is going to give us like 1 fourth. Right? And then this is pi over 2, 0. We have root 2. We have root 2. Okay? Do not forget this. This is now our root 2 now. Then du of square root of sine u. Ah! This is the same integral. This is the same integral. Or let me let me call it that in white. All right. This is this is the same integral. Uh well not exactly ish. But you, you get the idea, right? Oops. Oh no. There we go. So we have this and this. So this is equal. We have this on top, so we have one half divided by, and then we have root 2 over 4, so this gives us 1 half times 4 over root 2, and it seems like our answer is square root of 2. Alright, so there you go. That is the Canadian trick. It is a very very special problem. This this really changed the way I uh, see non-elementary integrals, right? If you ever see something non-elementary, you know, or that looks non-elementary, but it's telling you, oh, we have two integrals. Instead of solving it for each, divide them. This is what would come up to my mind. So if you ever come across a problem an integration B problem or a putnam problem where you have to divide two integrals, uh, be aware of this Canadian trick, okay? This really changed the way I see non-elementary integrals. So, that was sick. I never thought I would ever need to pull a Canadian trick like that, ever. I hope that helps. <laughs> I'm still a little furious about that. <laughs> about me forgetting that it was sine square, because oh my god. That messed me up so badly, uh, but yeah, I uh, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was entertaining. I know a lot of my suffering is a little entertaining, but other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all guys in the next video. See ya.